Hey everyone, welcome back to Interactive CAD and Tech. Today we're going to be diving into one of the most exciting AI tools out there, ChatGPT. If you've been wondering how to use ChatGPT for more than just basic Q&A, like my last video where it was just a very basic tutorial, this is the video for you. I'm going to be showing you 10 creative ways to use ChatGPT that will blow your mind, help you become more productive, creative and maybe even a little more fun along the way. So let's jump right in. So I'm currently on the ChatGPT app on macOS. Um, you get the exact same results whether you're using browser or, or a Windows app. So the first up is content creation. So whether you, you're a blogger, YouTuber or social media creator, ChatGPT can help you generate ideas, write outlines, draft context. Uh, need a catchy title for your next video? Just ask ChatGPT. So write me a description. Well, I know I spelled that wrong, but I don't think ChatGPT had even noticed. But uh, ChatGPT tutorial video, video. Apologies for my spelling. So not only has it <laughs> created a title for my video that for an idea that after just putting write me a description for a chat GPT video, it's also uh, come up with chapters I could use, use cases and stuff like that. So <clears throat> it's sort of taking the hard work out of a out of creating the content. You get a small idea and you can and you can use Chat GPT to expand on it very quickly. Um, so. For example, another example would be ChatGPT, uh, five blog post ideas on productivity. So this is the same again. If you've got a blog, you can use it to create, just eat from titles or even get ideas or I'll uh, just use chat GPT to get the gist of it and then you and then you build on it and put your own spin on it. But that is how chat GPT is very good for content creation. You can use it to help you with titles, videos, descriptions, posts, anything where you think, Oh, I'm not I wanna be catchy. And you can even put um you can even tell it to be more professional, less professional appeal to an audience and it helps you with that as well the second one is brainstorming sessions uh, chat gpt can act like your personal brainstorming buddy throughout throwing out ideas for any topic you choose whether you're planning an event writing a story or designing a product give so just give it a prompt like give me 10 creative ideas for a sci-fi novel so let's Apologies for my typing. And because it's got access to pretty much all the internet and it's got a massive database, it's using quantum computing and language processing and it's coming up with amazing ideas. Um, and I would have never, if I'm not a, um, a novel person, but I would have never come up with anything like this. So, for example, you could, for this, brainstorm on this thing, you go, um, time thieves. Oh, I really can't type there. Time thieves. Could you expand on this? If that's an idea you like. Genre site, it's even giving you a genre premise. And this is how you can come up with an idea very quickly and then build on it. And before you know it, you are using AI to brainstorm, but it's doing all the hard work for you. So it's even giving me a plot outline and I am not. I am not a good story writer, so this would help me massively. But obviously, you put your own spin on it and make it your own. But it's even giving you themes. 
The third creative thing you can do with ChatGPT is learning new skills. ChatGPT is an excellent, excellent resource for learning. Ask it to explain complex topics like what is the what is quantum computing, or even get step by step guides that how to do something like teach me the basics on Python pro programming. Same again, AI can't type for me, so I do apologize for my typing. So it's it's starting, it's getting started with Python and then it's literally building it, building on it. And to me, that's crazy to have something at your fingertips where you could just say, learn, I want, I'd like, I'm interested in learning this. And it actually gives you, um, well, step-by-step -step guides and you can even just say, could you build on this, on this and explain it more? Because you don't get something. Oh, it's not finished. Sorry. Um, what I did there was it wasn't, uh, it not finished typing about Python. So, and then it'll go into more detail about the same subjects. So the fourth um, thing, amazing thing you can do with ChatGPT while it's just going through um finishing off going d deeper into python is um writing assistance so i if you're stuck with writer's block or you need to write an email or something that's sensitive you can actually literally just um ask it to write you an email um and make it more professional or you can even um ask it to create a story for you um, edit your story if you input a story that you've created you can input a story into it and it'll tell you you and you want to add a plot twist it'll help you add plot twists and um, you just need to feed in a paragraph of text so it knows it so it knows obviously what your main story is and then it can help you with it uh, so I'll just wait for the Python to finish and then I'll show you that so that's right and assisted so <laughs> write me an email regarding low team performance. So that's a sen uh, sen quite a sensitive subject. And then obviously you can customize this how you see fit to your actual, but then that's just written me an email and obviously you could change it a little bit more, but you could put make less professional and it'll make it a bit more uh, yeah and then uh, so if you are, I hope this message finds you well I want to take a look and to address concerns now this is saying I want to touch base I've noticed lately the team's overall performance has lacked so it's the same email but with a different tone so you can actually tell it to change your tones as well so that's how chat GPT can be great for um, writing assistance um, the fifth amazing and creative thing you can do with AI is creating personalized plans. Need, need a workout routine, a study schedule, or even a meal plan. Chat GPT can generate customized plans based on your specific needs and goals. So for example, you're a 30 day beginner workout plan for weight loss. It will deliver. So workout plan. Why can't I type today? Trust me not to be able to type when I'm on YouTube. And that, so it's told you a daily breakdown for the week and now it's telling you what to do in each, on each day. So hit training, warm up. So people that haven't got a clue and would actually probably pay a PT to put something together like this from AI can do it now. Um, I don't know how, how, if there's any PTs that'd like to judge that program for a weight loss program, if they're watching this, 
if they think it's good or bad, or even amateur people that are obviously interested in exercise think that's it. Because obviously AI is just using a big database of the internet to pull all the information together. So its answers aren't always perfect, but that to me is a great start for someone who just wants to get fit. And it's even got tips for success as well. Another creative uh, an amazing thing you can do with chat GPT is role playing practice. So role playing practice, whether you're preparing for a job interview, a debate, or even just learning a new language, chat GPT can simulate conversations or scenarios to practice. For instance, you can role play a job interview. Mm-hmm. So let's put that in. job interview for a video creator. Oops. Could you start by telling us a little bit, so then you can literally start and say, I have 10 years experience and so on, and it'll literally do a role play and play out for you. Um, And then it'll it'll throw questions at you and curveballs to try and to prepare you for an interview. So that's amazing. Um... The seventh, and I think if you're, you you won't be watching this video if you use it for it, is coding help. So you saw how good it was with Python. Let's scroll back up to my history. That like you can actually get copy your coding and it will debug it for you and find any errors. So if you chat GPT can assist you with coding by explaining in code snippets, suggesting improvements and even helping you debug. Just paste your coding and uh, and hopefully it'll help you make it a lot better. Uh, number nine. Oh, sorry. Number eight, not number nine. Um, it's summarising research. So if you've got a long paper to read, ask ChatGPT to summarise it for you. So, for example, if a tutor or a teacher's give you a big, long essay, you could actually just attach it to ChatGPT, put it in, and what it'll do is it'll summarise it and digest it for you and give you the key points as if you've read it. So that's that's an amazing time saver. Um, and n- n- number nine, another amazing thing you can do is create fun quizzes. So if you want to create fun quizzes and games, ChatGPT can help you with trivia, world, word puzzles, or even text-based adventure games. Great for educators, content creators, or just some pits if you want fun with friends. On early two thousands, so it's doing multiple rounds. So you can, so you could actually print this out and hand it around to family and friends and have some fun. But then you can even make it ask it to make it easier and harder. Um, oh God! It's, I only asked it for a quiz. It's gone for it. Round four rounds. And then obviously you have your answer key to your quiz. And finally, number ten generating creative art ideas so if you're an artist a photographer or a designer you can use chat gpt to brainstorm concepts get color palette ideas and even draft a creative brief just ask something like give me five unique photography themes for my portfolio And then so it's come up with the text and it's asking me and it's showing me uh, some creative ideas. Could I have photographic examples? Back to my terrible spelling. And I'm not even put, I put could I, I, could, I didn't even put could I have.
So now it's giving me ideas of the actual photos. Could you generate me an image of one? I mean, I'm not, I know I'm trying to type fast because I'm on YouTube, so I'm not spelling very well, but even, even with my spelling mistakes, it's still knows exactly what I'm doing and it knows exactly what I'm asking for. I mean, you'd probably get even better results if I actually took my time and typed it properly. But that to me is amazing. And there are 10 creative ways you can use ChatGPT uh, to enhance your productivity, creativity and learning. Have you, let me know if you've tried any of these. Or if you do, if you've got anything else, or anything, or your own unique way of using ChatGPT, let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe uh, for more awesome AI tips and tutorials. And thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.